this opportunity to publicly thank a number of people who've been at the tiller steering the Big Pond Adelaide Film Festival to its renowned success. As chair of the festival, as well as chair of the South Australian Film Corporation, and that was such an important bridge those, those seven years ago, Cheryl's contribution to our film industry has been simply immense. And while she's staying on as chair of the corporation, she's stepping down from her role with the festival after nine years of unceasing triumphs. So in many ways, she's our Jack Warner, our David Selznick. I'm going to tell a story tonight on your back. But when Cheryl climbed Mount Everest with her daughter, as you do, she phoned me from the summit, even though she was temporarily blinded by altitude sickness. And I said to her, it's time to come home, Cheryl. And I said, and it's time after climbing Everest that you turn the film corporation with new studios in a new palace, the most beautiful studios anywhere in the world, because most of them, after all, look pretty ugly. I want this to be our paramount. And that's exactly what she's done. So I want to thank Cheryl for her tireless commitment and her energy and congratulate her on all that she's achieved through the last week. I also want to thank Katrina Sedgwick for stepping down as the film festival's director Excuse after me, nine years. A moment, please. I'd like to make a special presentation to our state premier. I've made a giant Australian cuttlefish pinata for him. I'd like him to take a swing at it if you may. <laughs> No, really, Mike. Oh, now's your time in the spotlight. I've even brought a rolled up newspaper for him to have a go at it. What do you think, everyone? <laughs> Shall we see it? Let's see it. Oh, really? Come on, Mike. It's not part of the show. I've got the newspaper for you. Here's the giant Australian cuttlefish. Day one, it's confident, an unremitting Bodicea. And Katrina has helped to grow to be recognised as one of the top 50 film festivals worldwide. And around the clock, yeah, <laughs> Katrina is round the clock, round the world hunt for quality, is reflected in her acclaimed festival program, as well as in the films that she edited and executive produced and they went on to win so many awards. I'm also very delighted tonight to announce this evening that Sandra Stralage, who formerly headed up Film Victoria for eight years, as well as the Melbourne International Film Festival, will succeed Cheryl as chair of the Film Festival Board. And I have no doubt under Sandra's leadership that our film festival will continue to bloom and to blossom to great heights. Welcome, Sandra. And of course, the Film Festival will remain a very important part of our festival character calendar, along with a fringe that's gone annual, a WOMAD that's gone from once every two years to, uh, uh, to twice a year, and of course the, uh, uh, the, the, the Adelaide Festival starting next year as an annual event. And it's a lineup that has grown to include new draw cards, as diverse as the Cabaret Festival, the International Guitar Festival, and very, very importantly, the Ausasia Festival. And I'm also pleased to announce this evening that Ausasia's director, Jacinta Thompson, has along with advertising creative director, Greg Nag, been appointed to the board of the Adelaide Film Festival. So welcome to them as well. And also two new film corp uh, members of the board, the wonderful Vivian Skinner and our own Anthony Maris. Please welcome them as well. <laughs> Just 
new clothing, these studios and the fabulously, of course, restored, wonderful Glenside building. This looks like a, a palace. Includes so many new features, new stages, production facilities, screening theatres, and what I'm told is one of the best sound mixing facilities in the known world. <laughs> and fittingly, the boardroom is dedicated to the memory of our dear, dear friend John Chataway, taken from us so soon, but his enduring spirit and inspiration lives on. members of John's family, as well as a number of his former colleagues here with us this evening. This site will also become home to around 30 film production entities, which represents a huge vote of confidence in the future of screen productions in this state. And also, of course, will house the Film Corporation's pioneering film lab. The first of their projects, Shut Up Little Man, as Cheryl mentioned, is one of only two Australian films accepted into this year's Sundance Festival. As you can see, the world is once more taking notice, as in Don Dunstan's day, of films that are created and supported here in South Australia. And that's why this outstanding new facility is so important, to ensure that we foster and fulfil the very best of our talented people nurtured here in Adelaide and to take our unique and local stories to the world with a fresh and buoyant wonder that only film can give. So thank you everyone uh, for the contribution you're making and the terrific support you continue to provide as a beacon of artistic expression and cultural, cultural literacy. Now I have to say I'm grateful that we're here inside. And I'm pleased that I've cut short uh, Bob Ellis's uh, one hour long Castro lit speech without a microphone when you've got laryngitis. I was told we were going to be outside on that uh, Juliet balcony or maybe Eva Perron balcony and it was going to be, it was going to be a Mike Rand impersonator who was going to apparently sing don't cry for me, South Australia. <laughs> the truth is, I'll never leave you. And I laughed about that. And then I remembered the last line for the film industry was, I kept my promise, don't keep your distance. I declare these studios... <laughs> <laughs>